Yes, SmackDown, I am back. Now, while I will admit that the unmasking of the savior of the underdogs of the underground being my business partner, general manager of SmackDown, Dylan Young, I will not admit that my leaving the arena that night was an act of cowardice or an act of surrender. It was actually a strategic battle maneuver. You see, once I realized that Dylan Young was the one that was behind this ruffian group of the underdogs, I knew that he probably has plans set up for down the road. And during my absence from SmackDown, I've actually been laying down a couple of battle plans of my own. As a matter of fact, I took the opportunity of visiting the YWC Board of Directors, who have assured me that I am within my rights as Commissioner of SmackDown to take any matchup that Dylan Young makes, whether it's on a regular episode of SmackDown or a pay-per-view, and I am allowed to edit it as I see fit. I am not allowed to take and completely discard the matchups Dylan Young makes, but I can make little tweaks to it. And so, with that being said, I've got some tweaks that are going to happen tonight, and some tweaks that are going to happen in a couple weeks at the YWC pay-per-view of Extreme Rules. So let's start with tonight first, shall we? Brock Lesnar, you've been a dominant United States champion. However, right now it looks like the focus is going off of defending that United States Championship and instead trying to take a big piece out of Goldberg from Raw. And while I know that Goldberg was the first to attack you and while you're well within your rights to try and get revenge, not really sure you can do both at once fight Goldberg, and defend the U.S. title. And the last thing I want to do is to send the United States Championship over to Raw. So, while I hate to do this to you, Brock Lesnar, tonight's going to be your last night as United States Champion. I'm stripping you of the title after tonight's episode. Now, with the assurance that at any time that you want to, when your feud with Goldberg is done, However long you want to wait, whenever you choose, anytime, any place, whoever's the current United States champion at the time, they will defend their title against you. With that being said, the vacant United States championship will be up for grabs at Extreme Rules in a triple threat steel cage match. Now, who are the participants going to be? Well, we're going to have two qualifying matchups tonight. And the third qualifying matchup next week on SmackDown. And Dylan, I'm giving you the opportunity here to be able to make some decisions regarding that match. See, what's going to happen is in tonight's two qualifying matches and next week's qualifying match, you will pick one participant for the qualifying match, and I will pick a participant for the qualifying match. And we'll see uh, which one of our participants ends up gaining the victory tonight and next week. Now let's talk about the Women's Championship. Charlotte has been an unbelievable Women's Champion and successfully retained her title against Sasha Banks a couple of weeks ago. So now we're kind of scratching at the bottom of the barrel of who are we going to be able to have Charlotte defend her title against. Well, I have found somebody who has approached me and I think heading to Extreme Rules, this will be a good matchup. However, you're not going to know who your opponent for Extreme Rules is going to be until tonight because you will be in tag team action tonight, Charlotte, with maybe the person that sees the biggest target on your back, and that is the Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Nikki Bella. And let's see, you will team against, how about someone you just defended your title against, Sasha Banks, and her partner will be your opponent at Extreme Rules. But it's not just any match at Extreme Rules that you'll defend your title in. It will be a tables match. Oh, looking forward to Extreme Rules already. All right, now let's move on to the World Heavyweight Championship picture. And this one, I think, is going to be really, really good. Because while Dylan Young versus CM Punk sounds like a good matchup, I mean, I think there needs to be a little bit of editing in that. First off, I think we've completely skipped over the actual number one contender for that World Heavyweight Championship, and that's Sami Zayn. So why not a triple threat match at Extreme Rules? Dylan Young, CM Punk, and Sami Zayn. Of course, we could make it a little better. We could make it 
a triple threat ladder match for the YWC Championship. I mean, after all, it is Extreme Rules. But just one thing seems to be missing. Oh yeah, the possibility, Dylan, that you might be able to win. And maybe, just maybe, in an Extreme Rules ladder match where anything goes, you may try and bring your cronies in. So we kind of need an enforcer. Someone that's going to make sure that those underdog rebels won't get involved. And so I've come up with a little bit of an answer to that. It's going to be a fatal four-way ladder match for the YWC World Heavyweight Championship. CM Punk, Dylan Young, Sami Zayn, and the Kamish. I will be that fourth member, and I'm not really in it to try and get the title. My goal mainly is to stop you, Dylan, from becoming YWC World Heavyweight Champion. Last but not least, folks, tonight you will see the newly crowned tag team champions, the Usos, in action. However, the Usos will also be in action at Extreme Rules as they will defend their tag team titles against the former tag team champions, Big Show and Shinsuke Nakamura. And that will be in an Extreme Rules match. It's going to be great. It's going to be really good. I've been conferring with Michael Norman on what we're going to be doing as far as Raw, as far as SmackDown. I can't wait for tonight's SmackDown leading into Extreme Rules. And guess what, folks? The Kamish is back.